Hey, good morning, everybody. 74 degrees, very humid out there, 100% humidity. We're picking up some fog inland. Uh, we got up to 90 yesterday since we got more sunshine and fewer, a little of the showers. Today, we'll see probably about 92, 93 as it starts getting warmer and warmer. As I mentioned, we just have limited visibility down in Fal Furious right now. But along the 281 corridor, that should start getting a little thicker. So uh, just watch out for that this morning. In the city, we shouldn't have any problems. We're obviously a little warmer. And of course, we're closer to the water. Uh, pretty warm, toasty day over the south. We're looking at temperatures at slightly below record. OK, so, you know, about 90 to the forecast high. But over the weekend, and uh, it's really going to get warm. And of course, a lot of people are going to be out and about enjoying the uh, long holiday weekend. Uh, we are looking for a big warming trend for our area. I'll tell you why. Now, the storms that were out in West Texas, they got one more day before they find, finally start to decrease out. We had a lot of moisture left over from the weekend rain. We had one little shower that actually started out here in um, the West Texas right about there it was it there he goes and then it started rolling down uh toward live oak county right about there and it fell apart for us the only places that got the heavier showers were up to the north uh today we're going to see more sunshine warmer temperatures fairly light winds and then of course the big story is what happens with this area of low pressure right now high pressure is going to build over texas and of course the way the winds flow they're going to go this way so that's an offshore wind so that's dry as far as we're concerned this area of low pressure may or may not become a tropical depression. Nonetheless, on the, um, shall we say, the uh, east side of the Gulf of Mexico, it's going to be very rainy and stormy. And eventually, all of the southeastern states, including Florida and Georgia, are going to be getting a lot of that rain very tropical by the beginning of next week. So here's what we've got as we get to the weekend. I know some of you are already planning, you know, only middle of the week. One or two isolated sea breeze showers at the little, little morning showers that come in. Otherwise, we're looking for sun, a lot more sun tomorrow, and then very sunny and get a lot of these temperatures. Mid 90s to 96 by the time we get to Saturday and Sunday, and that includes Monday. So if you're along the beach, uh, Make sure you get the sunblock and the big, big Panama hats and all that stuff to try and stay uh, out of the direct rays of the sun because it's going to be a hot one.